What's up YouTube, ODST General back again, and today guys, we're going to be playing some Unnatural Benighted. This is definitely not a Supernatural knockoff video game, but I do want to thank the developer for providing a key. This is uh, from VD Games. This is available on Steam now. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. I don't know if the music is copyrighted. I'm going to hope it's not. I'm going to leave it on this time. Normally I turn off the music altogether we're just gonna turn it down significantly there we go at least that way you can still hear it a little bit so i don't know very much about this game i know that the main character is named sim and he's got his best friend dan van halen uh, helping him look for his wife who was kidnapped by a demon. Uh, it sounds like he used shotguns and there might be some other tools. I'm not really 100% clear on like what the gameplay is actually going to entail or anything, but I am very interested in this. I am a fan of Supernatural. Um, you know, I especially like the earlier seasons where it was a lot of like myth and folklore creatures and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is definitely what Sam would look like. Probably in like another like 10 years, you know, with the uh, Supernatural being off the air after uh, Walker, Texas Ranger. A uh, little bit of frame drop, actually. Pretty noticeable frame drop right here in this front room. Um, so we might need to pause and, you know, potentially... Uh, spooky. And, uh, Something is wrong with the power. I need to check it out. Uh, pause and mess with the graphics and stuff. But we'll hold off on doing that for a moment here. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go back into audio. And we're gonna turn down the uh, the sound effects. We're gonna turn the music down a little bit because the uh, the voice is really hard to hear compared to the rest. It didn't really seem to change the music too much. Uh, actually, hang on, let's do this. Should have done this all before, but I didn't, like I said, didn't know what to expect with this, so I didn't want to, like, kind of screw anything up, potentially. Looks like a lot of stuff's off. Oh, every, yeah, let's uh, bring it down from epic to high. Hopefully that should still look okay and run smoother. Uh, still some frame drops and stuff, but much better. It's a good thing we uh, just emanate light. Oh, that's a kick. Can't open that door. I guess we gotta go upstairs. Oh yeah, the lights are on upstairs. Were these on before? Nicole, Nicole. Oh, that's fine. I didn't want to do the laundry anyways. Oh, that's. Oh, that's her blood. She's not alive. I'm sorry. That's like all of the blood. you uh yeah let's oh didn't, didn't get to finish reading that i don't know what's uh the the writing or the way it was put down there made it very difficult to read so i guess this might be our first job i don't know what we're what we're getting into here to getting his uh his buddy Hi, Dan. My wife was kidnapped by the demon Moloch, all because of an artifact of power I'm trying to find. What? How could this happen? I come home and all I found was a note from Moloch saying he took my wife as a sacrifice. That's terrible. He willing to take her in exchange for the artifact. What are you going to do? We need to find the artifact before Moloch does. I hear you, Sim. Follow me. I'm willing to help you out on this one. 
I know several people who can help us find your wife and defeat Moloch. They're fucking there. I really appreciate your help. I don't know what I will do without you. Don't worry, we have everything we need for this case. I will do anything for Nicole and our future. The camera's just like all over the place, the like zooming in and, and out, swinging back. all around. I will say that, that's kind of a cool shot there. It zooms in on the garage, car. I, I think if they kept it like a low angle and had the car like coming at the camera, it would have been a little bit cooler. Then, then swing up as it pulls out of the driveway. Yeah, I, so again, no idea like how long this game is supposed to be or anything else. So I'm not really sure what to expect with this in terms of combat difficulty, story. It's all going to be fresh and new to me. I'm definitely laughing at it, but I am at the same time I am kind of interested because clearly, you know, this is definitely very heavily influenced by Supernatural. Wow. So I guess we're playing as a Dan Van Halen now, it looks like, and uh, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, but like the way he's swinging around and stuff, it almost looks like he's just like, absolutely hammered. He'd been drinking a little bit. Uh, so do we have that note? Uh, I don't... I don't see the note that was left by the bedside. These are written by various people. A friend of mine disappeared the other day. I went to the forest for mushrooms and... Or, yeah, it says, I went to the forest the other day for mushrooms, Shiv and they, and didn't come back. He hasn't been here for three days. I told our sheriff. He just shrugged and uh, spread his hands, saying that this old drunk must be sleeping somewhere under a tree. He will come back again. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna read all of these. I mean, you guys can pause and read through all the rest of these notes if you want, but obviously just various cases and or potential cases that they're uh, they're looking at here. Not sure. Is this uh, this is potentially one of our demons? Kind of looks, uh, you know, if you're if you're a fan of CW or the like the stuff, like I guess where Supernatural was, kind of looks like Rory from. Uh, the Flash and uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Alright, so what am I doing here? Okay. Sim is waiting in the car. I'm just gonna leave the door open? It's gonna bother me. Did we shut the oven off? Oh, interesting. What is going on here? Dark course. So what's uh, what's up with this guy here? He's coming here just because? Are these like other games this guy's made? It might be the the developer or something. I'm not really sure. Kind of look around here. Curious how far we can go. Actually, looks almost like it could end like right here. There Sim, might be an invisible. Is there bit. any information or leads that may be useful in our case? There are some people missing in the woods nearby. According to the locals, they saw some kind of flesh in the sky. Maybe it has something to do with the artifact we're looking for. Maybe. It's been a long we time to get out. It's time to go. Let's find out. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, I mean, they let you drive the car. There's no headlights to it. That would be nice if there was lights. Can we go uh, first person? There's controls for the car. It's not telling me them. I don't know if it was supposed to tell me the, the controls for the car. 
movements. There's no no indications in here, so I guess we're just supposed to intuitively figure it out, which is fine. And it's cool though, I, I was actually kind of hoping to get to drive the car. I didn't really think we'd be able to. Then, oh. don't forget to get the guns from the trunk of the car. I'll take the bigger gun. So there is a handgun and a shotgun. He says he's gonna take the bigger gun, so we'll uh, we'll grab the shotgun. Alright, so proceed to the car and drive to the mission. Well, I mean, we, we've driven to the mission, so now what? Do we get back in the car? Can't leave here just yet. Alright, so we just had to go forward. Look! Footprints! Someone's been here! They are not human. Uh oh. Those are, uh, I guess those are footprints, yeah. They're big, that's for sure. Sim, did you see that? No. There's definitely something here. It shall be a campground nearby. Maybe we'll find something there. Nearby. You know, this game is definitely not polished. The voice acting, obviously, when you're playing as, you know, quote unquote, not Sam and Dean. It definitely feels like it should be American voice actors, which obviously, you know, if the devs from another country, they don't necessarily have access to that. I'm sure somebody would be willing to do it for free in exchange for, like, a voice acting credit or something, though. But, uh, you know, either that or, uh, like, you know, now we have, like, AI coming up, and I know a lot of people might not like that use, but you could probably get a pretty good AI voice Damn, blood. for these. There might be survivors nearby. Let's search the area. Although I will say, despite the accents, the uh, the voice for Dan Van Halen does sound surprisingly There's like Dean. Nothing but tortured bodies. What were they doing here? Uh, the first day on vacation or of an abandoned church, they found an old cross. Yeah, about the 18th century. And sometimes the, the incidents, I don't know, is this, part of it seems like it's maybe in a different language, I don't know, it's written out really weird, this is, so that's the same message that was inside the, um, the house that we had found. Got shotgun ammo. Good stuff, good stuff. I guess, I don't know. So, talking about the church and stuff. How do we get our shotgun back out? Alright. Yeah, pull up the uh, the key bindings here again, guys. I do apologize. I didn't realize we could put that on our back, and uh, I don't know how to get it. It says tab for the weapon. <laughs> what? What happened to you? How did you... Oh, there's two of them. Yes. Our army grows. Which is good because I can't figure out how to pull out the shotgun. Alright, so that's walk, that's crouch. One, two, three, four doesn't do anything. It says tab for the weapon, but tab is the uh, the inventory. Double clicking doesn't work. Right clicking doesn't work. Can't drag it. I, yeah, I don't, don't know what to do. As we're going to continue on, though, I assume we're going up ahead follow here. Follow him! Follow him! He's running in the tunnel! Oh. 
We're back down to just one of you. You okay there? We're making a lot of really weird noises back there. Are you going to turn into a, a werewolf on me? Okay, so I had to <laughs> I pick the shotgun up out of there. I guess the uh, the Kill him. Ah, stuck. Shoot him. Jump over that. He seems to potentially be bugged out. He does, does not like that pass. So we're going to absolutely take advantage of that. And just, uh... Gonna hammer it home. I know this is definitely anticlimactic, but uh, given that our uh, buddy there isn't shooting, we're gonna just uh, accept it for what it is. I think it's dead. Dan, look, it's got something. Looks like it's part of the artifact we are looking oh. for. So, how many are there? I don't know. Let's go to the car. Dan, cops. I'll handle this. Okay, th those would actually be really cool cop cars. Do you recognize me? Moloch. I have something that belongs to you. You call it alive? The terms remain the same. Artifacts in exchange for your wife. I'll find you and kill you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> Good Sorry, the game that froze there for a second. Now we have time to relax after that forest run. Yeah, that's great. Time to have some rest and take a shower. Any news from your father, Robbie? Did he find a weapon against the demon or one of the artifacts? No news yet. But he's just about to call. We'll just wait. All right, yeah, so, I mean, that was the, the first monster. Where, I mean, we're kind of at that point already. Yeah, he's going to go to the bathroom. What's going to happen? Is the phone going to ring? Can't leave. I feel like something's going to happen. 
Oh. We're gonna be able to get out of here. Oh, good. That's... Got no collision. Sim! Sim! It's a Ruby! I'm coming! Hey, Goonies! Something strange is going on here! What do you mean? I have some progress on our case, and now I need your help. Come to Maine. What? What the hell is that? It's coming! It's coming! Hello? Robbie? Hello? What's up with Robbie? Sim, we have some serious problems. We need to head out. Okay, so that is Unnatural Benighted, and yeah, I don't know, we might show some more of this on the channel, Damn. things are getting pretty... Do you see it? The kind of hectic for me right now. The thing in the sky? And, uh, I'm not Looks sure how much more I have for the channel, I'm gonna keep saying well that, for but, us. You know, things are getting more and more kind of crazy. What is attached to my back? It looks like it's probably part of the shotgun, I guess, but I don't... I don't know what part of the shotgun that would be. It's uh, it's interesting. Yeah, I don't know, guys. The the game is definitely not the smoothest. It could use significantly more polish. But honestly, like when I saw this on on Steam and I was seeing the the game uh, through the uh, the content creator distribution stuff, I really questioned how well a supernatural video game would work. And honestly, thinking about it. In playing this, I could definitely see potential for it, you know, making this like a cooperative game, you know, make it multiplayer so you and your friend can like play together and maybe making it so that, you know, yeah, there's like a story or whatever, but then maybe there's also like you, you're able to do additional jobs to, and you can like get money to like buy weapons and stuff, kind of almost like Phasmophobia or something in a sense where you'll have your, you know, your headquarters or maybe you switch between various like hotels as your, uh, your headquarters. Or maybe you have like a base like they do in the later seasons. Um, oh, we got a rifle this time. Nice. So, it looks like they do have some additional weapons and stuff, which is neat. Um, not real weapons, unfortunately. Very, very sci-fi looking stuff in a lot of them. Uh, and they don't sound super great, but honestly, uh, you know, they, they do have some variety there, which I definitely appreciate. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, it's kind of an interesting game. It, it's very rough in some spots, but it, it has a lot of potential to be fun. I'm not sure if the developer plans to continue development on this title, or if now that's just out there, this is what you get, and, uh, you know, if you don't like it, too tough. You know. But, hey, let me know what you guys think of this title. If you are interested in seeing more, you know, if we have some time here before uh, I'm unable to no longer record, let me know in the comments below. Honestly, by the time you guys might see this, that probably is going to be too late anyways. But hopefully by that point, maybe I'll I'll be able to pick up with recording again before too long. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's uh, it, it's going to be interesting. I, hopefully this isn't like the last video for my channel. <laughs> oh, I laugh about that, but it would actually be kind of sad. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Take it easy. I'll see you all in the next one.